you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, like and share this video and also make some comments in the comment section. If you're not new to this channel and you're back here watching it, welcome back. And also, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Today is going to be a sit down video to just really talk about um, how to wear your jewelry. As you can see, I'm not really a jewelry person, but I have like a few pieces because of times when I actually want to wear jewelry but um, and that's mostly because of motivation from my mom she's the one that really likes me wearing jewelry like that but on a normal day you wouldn't see me wearing jewelry but because I don't wear jewelry doesn't mean I don't know about it because I'm a fashion person I'm a fashion designer and I'm a stylist so I have to like be up to date about this kind of things so I just going to be giving like a few tips on what to wear how to mix and match Okay, so um, first thing we're talking about is hoops. Hoops come in various sizes. You have your big size, you have your medium size, you, they come in different materials like gold and silver. I mostly have gold jewelry. I just realized that. And I had a silver pair, but I think I lost it. That happens sometimes. So this is a smaller version and this is quite close to this one but also small so basically hoops are very trendy and versatile you can wear them with almost anything so you don't have to worry about whether they match what you're wearing although you still have to like take into consideration certain things like your hairstyle and stuff and also like if you're you're wearing gold um hoops you have to like probably watch the colors on your outfit so they don't like clash but basically you really don't have to worry about wearing your hoops with basically almost anything so you they come in like i said they come in different materials that's gold that's silver they can come in bronze and basically any material that you can use i, I think there's some people have like plastic hoops or so but like it's not maybe it's not very um it's not as trendy as gold and silver so um your hoops can be worn with casual wear you can wear it with your denim jacket for like like a very fierce look your jeans and your t-shirt with your denim jacket if you want a stunning look you can wear it with your um short wavy hair because like i said you have to take into consideration all those things too so you can also wear a slick back um ponytail look and that I think I really love hoops when you have your hair like packed back or like slicked back. So that's so it's actually very easy to. Um, so you can also wear your hoops with like your formal outfit. So you have your your suits and stuff, but you can also wear it with semi casual. Like I said, it's very versatile. So you can basically wear it with almost anything, and it looks great. So hoops also like go well with uh turbans like your scarves your turbans so if you need to just do a head tie so that, like i said it's just very versatile you can wear it with almost anything you can pair it with almost anything so next thing we're going to talk about is like our other juries mixing and matching and do your do's and don'ts while wearing jewelry number one use sparingly have you ever heard of the saying that less is more? It's actually really true, especially, okay, maybe not especially, but also when you're talking about wearing your jewelry and accessorizing. So don't put too many jewelry. You don't have to wear all your jewelry at once. Like you're wearing your rings. I know it's, uh, like some people, it could be your style to just wear, wear like various rings on your different fingers and stuff. But like if you want to even like stack your rings, try to use the very small and dainty ones. You can have like, this one it's actually really small but you can have even something smaller than this and you can't like match this something like this this big and bogus with this so like you just have to be very careful while you're mixing and matching don't stack up too many big rings like this one it's quite big so you can't say you want to wear this 
and you want to wear this and like just match everything together because it's, it just makes you look like you don't know what you're doing <laughs> like yes you have fine jewelry but don't put all of them at once don't put all your eggs in one basket so if you want to actually stack rings use very small rings and also don't try not to wear rings on all your fingers even if you really like that style just try to use your jewelry sparingly and also when you're talking about necklaces sometimes you can like to stack your necklaces but you also have to be careful the tip that is really useful when you want to like stack like jewelry is just to use very dainty and small tiny jewelry so like using you can wear this kind of necklace and match it with this kind of necklace so like they're really big so you can't just say oh because i really like wearing jewelry i'm going to like wear all my necklaces at once so if you're going to layer your necklaces you have to look for like very small ones you can use this one you could even have a pendant like this and then you have something smaller than this necklace and you just you have to like leave spaces so you're going to look for ones that have different um what's it different lengths so you you have your short ones here hanging here and you have a, a longer one hanging here and another one hanging lower so most times it's always good to wear those on like low cut um dresses or tops so that you can have like your you can have their space to play and they're not all like going all over themselves so you just have to look for really small ones and also different lengths so that you can just layer them properly and they can have their space to play on your neck and your chest also try not to use more than five like yes you want to layer your necklaces but don't put like 10 at once and end up looking like you're you're selling the necklaces on your body <laughs> so there's also one important thing you really need to note when you're mixing and matching your jewelry with your outfits. Colorful outfits go with simple jewelry. Like I'm wearing this patterned dress right now and I wouldn't just start putting jewelry that like that make me look like a peacock. But like you have to also note that people have their different styles and as long as you can pull it off you can go for it but most times generally speaking when you're wearing colorful maybe pattern clothes you have green you have blue you have purple all on your outfit don't end up going to wear maybe green and purple um earrings or necklace that will make you end up looking like a christmas tree do you understand so don't overdo your statement pieces as well like statement pieces are really big pieces of jewelry like um like these like wearing this one that i already showed earlier you can't like um overdo this if you're wearing this wear um <laughs> wear an earring that is smaller so it's not you could have um it's in since this has like purple blue gold you can just have maybe a gold um earring or something so don't overdo your statement pieces like the rings the big rings like i said don't overdo them don't wear your big rings all at once they end up looking bogus and ridiculous so um and as for like your bracelets you can layer your bracelets but also the same advice do not layer too many bracelets at the same time don't like match certain things together some gold and some silver and just be careful that you do not overdo your statement pieces and the last advice that i will give or tip that i will give is to invest in classic and timeless pieces invest in classic and timeless pieces pieces that do not go out of date like i was talking about first the hoops hoops have been in since cleopatra <laughs> so like you always have hoops and you always have need of hoops so if you really want to invest in timeless pieces you can get hoops you can get chokers chokers have always been there and they, they will still be there for a long time <laughs> so yeah invest in chokers invest in diamond studs like really small studs so that you could just wear them with basically anything and pearls pearls do not go out of date so it's like i think i should have um one here i'm not find it but yeah pearls pearls have been there since years 
before like some of us were even born so and they will still exist in the future so always try to invest in timeless and classic pieces so you never get stuck on what jewelry to wear with your outfits while you're accessorizing thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like me to do more videos like this just drop it in the comment section let me know also follow me on instagram at victoria Bufari. i'll put the um handle at the end of the video and um yes if you're not subscribed please do subscribe like and share the video and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye Um, hoops also come, come, no, <laughs> do's and don'ts in jewelry, <laughs> in, I, I, uh, where, it, um, <laughs> if you're doing this, where, it, oh, is it an earring, go on, earring. I'm an earring. <laughs>